Hey foodies, welcome back to Unveil the other side. Today's recipe is Chole Masala. For this recipe, we have here one cup of soaked chickpeas, which has been soaking for about eight hours or overnight. I have taken about two to three medium sized onions, roughly chopped, ginger, garlic, and a bit of coriander leaves. For the spices, I'm using cardamom, bay leaves, cinnamon, and cloves. I'm using both the types of cardamom here. Tomatoes, taken about two to three medium sized tomatoes, salt for taste. You'll also need turmeric, red chili powder, cumin seeds, oil, cumin powder, coriander powder. And of course, you'll also need the chole masala. Firstly, I'm just going to blend in onion, garlic and ginger. I'll not be using any water for blending it into a fine paste. I'll just blend it as is. I've taken about 5-6 cloves of garlic and uh, two small pieces of ginger here. As you can see, the paste is really fine. This is how it should be. And next I'll also be pureeing the tomatoes. You can as well use the tomato puree available in stores but I'd like to go completely from the scratch so this is the tomato puree in a pressure cooker I'm just gonna add in about one and a half teaspoons of oil and once the oil is hot I'm just going to add in all the spices saute it a bit let it just give out its aroma and then add in about one small teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds and then goes in the onion ginger garlic paste into the pressure cooker saute it well for about one minute or so until the raw smell of the onions and garlic just starts to go away close the lid and cook it for about one minute you just have to place the lid on it you know you don't have to close it completely and then add in turmeric red chili powder all as per your taste like the spice levels are per your taste salt don't add too much of salt at the moment just to cook in the onions i've added the salt mix everything together cover and cook for again another minute or so after about a minute add in the cumin powder coriander powder and give a good mix Add in the chole masala and just place the lid, allow it to cook for another 2-3 to three minutes and then add in the tomato puree. Mix it well. Add a little more salt to this mixture so that your tomato gets cooked really fast. Your base for the chickpea curry or the chole masala is almost ready close the lid and cook it for again uh, two to three minutes and then add in the soaked chickpeas give a quick mix saute it with the gravy Close the lid and cook it for about two to three minutes again. Then add in water, like I've just added about two cups of water for this. As you know, the chickpeas tend to swell up, and the water content is definitely going to reduce after your uh, curry is prepared. Cook it for three whistles, and as you see your gravy or the chole masala is ready garnish it with 
coriander leaves fresh dhania patti and a few pieces of raw onion and your chickpea curry is ready to be served with parathas rotis thanks for watching please do like share subscribe and comment on this video